Very quick video tonight for Big Brother 26. As uh, I don't have a lot of time, I'm recording this hours before I will post it as well because my online survival for premiere was tonight. Uh, online game based on Survivor, a web series. Please check it out if you haven't. But let's talk about Big Brother. I think I'm just going to try and talk about some of the important people tonight. I don't have the time for the non-entities. I will just say about MJ, you know, yesterday I talked about her small brain, but I do feel like she's starting to put together what little brain cells she has to actually try and map out the lay of the land. Her blind spot is Tucker, though, still, I think, and I think that's going to continue to be the case because she has, um, just has in her mind that she's like Tucker's number one. Although I think, you know, there is some some doubt there finally in her mind about Tucker. Last night, her and Leah were just continuing to try and get Tucker's attention again and again today. And I they have no self-awareness. And since they have no self-awareness, I guess they can't have awareness of getting other people's vibes. Because Tucker's vibe with them is very bad. There's like no no interest. He's bored all the time very closed off body language to them falling asleep today uh so yeah but they don't really lee is one of those non-entities i don't really want to talk about now yesterday i mentioned talking about the gameplay the aggressive gameplay of tucker i'm gonna try and just base this the rest of the video quickly on where i see the gameplay as it stands right now tucker yesterday i talked about being this aggressive player, the most aggressive player in the house. Angela can be too, but she's so paranoid that I, I can't give her credit for much. Um, but Tucker, he plays this aggressive game amongst a group of passive people. I think that's why he can continue to set himself up in a good spot despite being this big target because so many people in this game have been and continue to be passive. But in doing so, this aggressive gameplay yesterday with MJ and Leah, and kind of out of nowhere acting much closer to MJ and Leah, it's rather obvious to people in the Sixth Avenue Alliance what he was doing, especially T Cor Kimo and Rubina, because those three are already close together and they can have these chats about Tucker suddenly being so close to MJ and Leah. I thought it was very obvious. And the downside of Tucker's aggressive gameplay is that there is no finesse and no real strategy in my opinion. It's just kind of chaos, which he thrives in and can work. And I think what Tucker is trying to do, in my opinion, I don't know if this is actually what he's trying to do. I think a lot of what Tucker does is just finding new targets to be mad at, honestly. You know, we had a, we'll get to the fight between him and Brooklyn, I guess. But Tucker, is trying to get targets off of himself, obviously, and put targets against each other. I do feel like there's a bit of that going on with Tucker, but I don't know if I could give him too much credit for actually doing that. But it is kind of happening. You know, Leah, MJ, Rubina now seeing each other as targets a bit. So it is kind of happening. Tucker's argument with Brooklyn, I thought Brooklyn actually won the argument because... Tucker does a lot of moaning, bitching, and moaning. There was a point that he wanted to quit the game. He always talks about, even again last night, if he's in jury, he wants to quit. It's what has completely turned me off of Tucker, really. I, I, that's why I don't want Tucker to win at this point, because anybody that signs up for this game, if you make the jury, crying that you're going to quit, I don't have respect for it. Tucker's saying he wants to be this iconic player, and so far, well, player is loose. I don't know if he's an, an iconic player, but an iconic character, for sure. Iconic at competitions, for sure. Strategy-wise, eh. But, um, yeah, all the crying that he wanted to quit at one point, I think Brooklyn had some good points pointing that out to others about Tucker earlier this season, and she was there to comfort him. And now after that argument with Brooklyn last night, Tucker once again kind of showing his emotional side where he does a lot of 
crying. He was mad after that argument. He's a very upset person at times, and I think that is a way people can shake him in this game. You know, sure, you can say maybe he could use that to win competitions, but he has to be in the competitions first to be able to win them. You know, he's not in this next HOH, but um, if they try him back door, we wouldn't be in veto either. I, I don't know. I think using his emotions against him is something people can do in this game because he does have them, and they are very annoying emotions because he uses them to bitch and moan. Um, Chelsea is doing the best on the block, I would say. She's continuing to form new connections, trying to come up with a new game plan, realizes that Brooklyn needs to go for her own game because at this point, Brooklyn is, and those two together are seen as a duo, so Brooklyn would just drag her down. So she's even saying that if Cam or Brooklyn are on the block, Brooklyn needs to go. Um... Yeah, I think Chelsea, she had a good conversation with Rubina today. I think Rubina might continue to enjoy talking to Chelsea because it's someone that she can talk about the whole showman situation with Tucker too and isn't going to be weird about it because you have... Tikor's afraid of Rubina getting too close to Tucker because Tucker and Rubina will be seen as targets. Um... Leah and MJ are both jealous of the situation or they think in their minds that there's nothing really going on between Rubina and Tucker. And Tucker's telling them that it's a brother and sister bond. And I think they buy it because in their minds, Tucker should have a crush on them. Stupid. Um, the best part of last night to me was t -Core. Um, she finally did what people were complaining that she wasn't doing because she was being emotional and she was after the flip feeling sorry for herself that she feeling guilty really is what it was um, she tried to use Tucker's gameplay against him to Rubina which was smart because Rubina was already some, feeling some kind of way about Tucker suddenly being close to Leah and MJ and t -Core saying maybe, you know, Tucker is going to just continue to make self-interested moves. And yes, as HOH, you should do that. But should you do it so obviously? No. Because people like t -Core, who are very observant and sure, shy or, you know, afraid to have conversations with certain people. But she was not afraid to have this conversation with Rubina about how they need to have their own numbers if Tucker's going to play this way. I respect that about t -Core. Chemo's also the same way sometimes. The whole crush on Tucker is where I still can't fully get into Chemo's game yet. Until I see that he's not blinded by that crush on Tucker, I can't get into his gameplay. But with t -Core, I really feel like her head's constantly in the game. And while it takes her a while to make the right moves, she always knows the right moves. And this, once again, is t -Core seeing what she needs to do and maybe, you know, gain some numbers of her own, which is what she should have done right after the flip. Um, so, yeah, this was smart of t -Core. I don't know how good Rubina will deal with the situation, but if t -Core could finally be the one to actually get Rubina to play for real, then t -Core deserves her flowers. You know, Rubina, I feel like, has tried to play a little bit this week, but not really. So if t -Core can get her to play a lot, I'm a, she deserves her flowers. So yeah, I like t -Core thinking ahead, and she's the only one actually thinking this, really, where Tucker is concerned. Because I honestly feel like if somebody were to take a shot at Tucker over this, this next week or two... Do they even have the numbers to really vote him out yet? Because Tucker can just use the whole, I'm a competitor, I'll just target the person that's trying to target me. Use me as a shield. Will Tucker do that? Probably, I would think. But who knows, Tucker's very unconventional, we'll say, just like yesterday. But yeah, t -Core, it's good to see someone still with their head in the game thinking long-term. She really is the only one. I mean... I still have the faith in Chelsea if she sticks around to be thinking this way. But yeah, Joseph's not anymore. Joseph and Tucker, they really are kind of forming more and more of this final two bond. 
fans were upset with Rubina last night talking this way about Tucker that maybe Tucker does need to have numbers against him in the future when Tucker today is telling Joseph information about Rubina that Rubina is starting to question if they have a final two Tucker and Joseph which they do and I think Joseph is very serious about that final two I think Joseph thinks he could be Tucker in the end because he already had this conversation with just him and the camera that he thinks he could be Tucker in the end and I don't think he can because Joseph actually has to do something to beat Tucker in the end and we are getting closer and closer to halfway through the game and Tucker really hasn't done shit so I've lost a lot of faith in Joseph um and does Tucker really think that Joseph is final two? I don't know. But he's feeding Joseph more and more information, so maybe he really does think that way. That's all I have time for tonight. Um, the main thing I wanted to go over was the aggressive gameplay of Tucker. It's good. It's creating chaos. It is you know, getting targets on other people. Like, like People are looking at other people and not at him. But it's also very obvious what he's doing with the whole MJ Leah situation. I think he went about it way too obvious and it does have people in the Sixth Avenue Alliance looking at their own numbers, which is smart of them. So I hope t gets credit for that. I don't know. People in this fandom love to be loud and wrong on Twitter and even on YouTube, so I doubt it. But for me, I will continue to give t her flowers. Yes, she takes forever to play sometimes. Well, not forever to play. I think she's always playing. But she takes forever to maneuver in the game. And she still needs to get over talking to certain people and pushing her agenda to other people. But the people she does feel comfortable with, when she strategizes with them, it's always the right move for her. And I respect that. 